Hey art students, today we are going to learn how to draw a ninja. That's right, a ninja. So you're going to need, as always, a pencil, paper, and a black line marker. Also, for colors today, you will need blue, black, red, and brown. You'll also use your pencil in order to create metal. You ready? Here we go. Let art class begin. Alright guys, today we're going to be drawing some ninjas. These ninjas are going to be in action poses. So the first one we're going to start at is going to be in the upper corner. We're going to start with making a circle for its head. And then from the circle we'll bring two lines down and curve around the bottom to create the body. Like I said, this ninja is going to be in a dynamic action pose. So its legs are going to be out to the side as he slashes down with the sword. To make the legs, we're going to start with the feet. There are going to be two ovals angled outward at the sides. And then, in order to connect them to the body, on the inside and the outside of that oval will connect to the bottom of our body. So now, we have our first ninja's head his body and his legs. To create his arms, which are going to be slicing down with the sword, we're going to come from under the head at both sides down to the bottom of the body. When both arms are down meeting in the middle, we'll put a circle to give us our hand. Now to fill in the rest of the arms, we'll create a V shape in the middle, giving us the outer arms and then cut it in in half to make two separate arms. Now in order to create our sword, half of the circle that makes our hands, we're going to create a rectangle over. This rectangle will be the hand guard of the sword. Under the circle, we'll start making our handle. It's going to be angled up and it will go through our hand guard up as long as we want it in order to make the blade of the sword. So through a bottom of the circle, above the handguard, and up. Connect the top at the angle to give it a sharp blade. So now we have our ninja with his full body and his sword. We're going to go ahead and add some details. First, his face. On the top of the circle, I'm going to create an oval. This is going to be the opening to his mask. I'm also going to put a couple lines across his chest to indicate where his suit crosses over. Going back up to the top, I'm going to V the eyes in order to make more of an angry face and then outside of that I'm going to add little circles for eyes under my V eyebrow. Our first ninja is looking really cool. Now because I made him into the upper corner that gives me some room on the lower part of my paper to make a second ninja. His circle is going to be a little bit smaller in order to create a head because he's going to be behind. We will go across this time and then bring our same lines down to create a body from each side. Coming around at the bottom. When our first ninja was jumping in the air, 
this ninja is going to be very grounded. So I'm going to create a triangle shape to spread his stance out as he stands on the ground. We'll double over those lines, making his legs thicker, and add some ovals for feet. Now for perspective, I'm going to put one circle at his shoulder. This will be one hand in front of him. His other arm will be going out to the side. So from his body, we'll take two lines out and make a rectangle. We'll add a circle at the end of those lines for a hand. And now we'll create some excrement sticks. These are wooden sticks that a ninja would use for defense. Using our same idea from earlier, we'll make an oval for the opening of our mask, V-shaped eyebrows, and then create circular eyes under. We'll add some more details to our gi. This time we'll go all the way down, seeing how we can see the middle of it, and make a belt. A belt's just two lines across, a circle for a knot, and two small rectangles coming off of it. Whoa, we have two really cool dynamic looking ninjas ready for action. Let's finish them by adding a background line and then adding some ink. Awesome. Now that my inking's done, I'm going to add my color. I'm going to make my ninja's uniforms black. That way they can blend in with the shadows. Also, I'm going to use blue for my eyes and the gray for my pencil in order to create the shine of my sword blade. The rest of my weapon pieces I'll do in brown. Alright guys, we're all done with our ninja. I hope you guys enjoyed drawing this one today, and I hope that you tune in next time for our next art class. Bye-bye.